Well, I think there are two realities in Quebec. There's Montreal and everything else. The Quebec election campaign has kicked off. The city is plastered with signs, and Quebecers have until October 1st to decide who they're going to vote for. The political parties have hit the ground running, and it promises to be a contentious campaign period, with the Liberals fending off Coalition Avenir ah, Quebec, ça va, ça va. who's leading in early polls. The Cuillard Liberals have dominated provincial politics for over a decade. Their new slogan is to facilitate the lives of Quebecers, and they plan to do that through encouraging entrepreneurship and keeping a balanced budget. Francois Legault and the CAQ are leading a protectionist campaign focusing on identity politics. The Parti Québécois, on the other hand, promises not to hold a referendum on separation, their first term in power. They're lagging third in the polls. Quebec Solidaire looks to expand their current three seats won in the last election. Political analyst Karim Boulos says that while health care and education are top Quebec priorities, the populist ideology a la Trump and Doug Ford may tinge this election because of discomfort surrounding refugee claimants. We've got a federal problem that is happening on provincial soil. So the cross over the border, people are coming into Quebec, but the perception is that this is becoming a Quebec problem and more specifically a Montreal problem. However, outside of Montreal, the other half, if you will, the other half of the population is likely to have feelings one way or the other, but very clear feelings. And I think Mr. Legault is trying to tap in to some of those feelings. Here on Montreal City News, the leaders will all come together for a historic English language debate broadcast on September 17th. In Montreal, Emily Campbell, City News.